Hi, this is Alex Michael Camp, North America. Today I'm joined by my colleague from across the pond, Kim. Hi, I'm Kim and I am from Argo Camp for Rescue UK and today we are talking about the Peninsula Logger. So this is used most commonly in the agriculture and the civil engineering sector. So it is looking specifically at soil compaction. We care about soil compaction because as, as human activities occur, we get more and more compact soil. Uh, why do we care? Well, we care about plant growth, we care about yields of crops, we care about whether or not the, the foundation of that road is going to be enough. What we can do with the penetra loggers, we can actually go in and we can measure that compaction layers, those compacted layers, up to about 80 centimeters very quickly, very accurately, and, and, and really very in a mobile way. So knowing more about that can really help us till less or really have an idea of will, will this foundation, will this road work? How are we going to do that? Well, we take this unit uh, with different kinds of cone tips and then we actually just push it into the ground at two, two centimeters per second. Depending on the type of soil you have, you might use any of the four cones that we have. We have a one centimeter square, that's the surface area, a two, a 3.3, and then a five and a third, I believe. All of them, a little bit different uses. If you aren't getting different data, or if you aren't getting good data, you might want to switch to a different one and do it right next to it. So with the Eiffel Camp Peniche Logger, we do also re recommend using the Theraprobe. If you think about it, let's say, for example, you have a really hard clay and it's really dry out. We know it's going to be very hard to penetrate. So you have to be able to correct for that moisture content so you can really compare apples to apples. To do that, we have one port on the Peniche Logger. It's the same port where you're going to charge it, as well as if you were going to connect it to your laptop, the Theta Probe that the system can be to come with actually straight up just plugs right in. Before we use our penetra loggers, we want to verify that the cones are still the correct size. Uh, they're something that will eventually wear out and that surface area is very important. So on top of this uh, cone check plate, it actually has a diagram of how we check these four different sizes and we'll slowly just kind of move through it. The next step is to actually use our plate here and, and making sure that's level. Uh, this plate is the reference to verify that the that wave measurement, that the depth measurement is correct. So we want to make sure we have it where we're, we want to measure and that it's nice and level. Uh, and we'll use that in combination with the force in this cone to actually get a good uh, reading. Next, what we're going to do is actually go into the measurement of the penetra logger and kind of just get it going to look at it. Typically, you're going to set up your test plot on your laptop because uh, that's just a little bit easier. But uh, going through the measurement and actually doing it is very simple. So. Uh, that bar on the left tells you if you're going too fast or too slow, uh, and then you just try and push as uniformly as possible. Quick and easy, uh, that's the penetral locker. This is Alex and Kim with IcoCamp. Make the difference.